Welcome back to Gameplay Animation Show Review. So for this episode, I wanted to have a look at the work of an animator by the name of Cody Drake. Cody actually worked for Ubisoft Toronto, and I was actually part of the team that hired him. So I wanted to highlight his work and what it takes to be a successful entry-level candidate. Cody came to our attention as one of the finalists of the 2015 UB Next competition. This showcase highlighted work from animators and artists from schools and the colleges in the surrounding area. So instead of reviewing his showreel, Today, I wanted to share with you the piece that he submitted and the review that we gave him, ultimately resulting in Cody getting a job. So this was more of a straight up animation review, so hopefully you still find this interesting. So with that said, let's get started. So first off, I think the, I really like how you showed the piece as well. I, I love the fact that you didn't shy away from showing it in any in all the different angles. Um, it was really cool that you um, were willing to show it from the perspective, from the side, and from the, the front. Things that I noticed from the front was it was great that you could see that your lines were a little bit asymmetric, that you didn't have much twinning there, which was kind of cool. So um I, that sort of stuff i love all the time so as we as we get through your piece now let's let's just kind of go through it and i'll give you some notes there so so it's nice that you put some camera shake on there i think that that is always going to help sell that i mean that is something we would actually do as well if you were to have impact in certain things we do tend to put a little bit of camera shake in there um so let's see so the landing i think it's cool that you managed to let's see so you managed to to kind of reach out with the feet here what i would probably do so i think you know like having the foot kind of reach down a little bit here just so we stretch that out it's cool that you're kind of landing on the heels but normally when you're landing especially if you're landing from a jump you don't tend to land on the heels so much it's more of you kind of you'll point the toe the toes down and then you'll kind of land that way it's like you're stretching out a little bit so um try not to have the heels too much there because especially it's going to roll through it so let's see so it kind of goes there, but you see there, you've got this foot kind of wobbles a little bit there. So I would either pin that to the ground there and also have, you see the ankles kind of break there. So what I would probably do is maybe lift the ankle up a little bit there just to kind of, just as it lands and goes through it. So then, you know, so then the foot is kind of more like that. Okay, so that's kind of cool. The same sort of uh, thing applies with the hands. So kind of make the hands as if they reach into the ground, maybe even have the kind of the fingers that way and then, then have them compress a little bit. So instead of at the moment, you've got your hands very flat when they come down. This is kind of cool. And remember I was saying to you, I, I wanted to see you do something with the mandibles as well, because the mandibles at the moment, they don't really look like they're doing anything. And it'd be kind of cool if they did a little bit more. So let's see. So you've got here, you try, try and avoid the snap on the elbow as well. So you could definitely use the shoulders more and then this will, will kind of show you that you're kind of pushing up. So maybe even have the shoulders go up as he lands. So you've got some of that movement here, which is kind of cool. And then even then you can maybe have it kind of lift up as if he's kind of going to go into the next move, okay? So remember it, have the shoulders kind of go a little bit here. This will stop the, the snapping of the elbows. And then I really want to see you kind of take this pose, this pose and then really kind of almost like have the opposite side. Like, um, you can maybe even just make it a little bit asymmetric. So if you're like, Rah! so you see the way it's kind of, instead of just being like that. Also, you'll see as well, you want to try and keep your lines nice and clean. If you look at this hand here, to see the way when it comes up, kind of goes out and then goes back and then goes out again. So then, so it kind of makes it look like it does a shake. Let's see, let's see, so nice and clean. So this is probably good, but maybe bring the fist round like that. And then instead of having this pose there, it's almost like, I probably, to be honest with you, probably delete this frame. 
and then you want to get a nice kind of line so where it's going there so it's kind of you want to get a nice arc so a nice arc kind of going around this way um so it'll sort of kind of go back so you can always have it going down and then you've got the opposite of there and then really stretch this out so you'll see the pecs and everything kind of go and then this is where the mandibles can go and you can have this and, um for each other opposite there so then when you go to the next frame you can see the kind of the belly grows so pin these toes make sure you pin these toes and push off so it's almost like you want to come down here a little bit and maybe get some more power into that so it goes rah, so it comes down so you make it small and then come down and then because it's an attack and you're going like you want to get a nice kind of line like through there all right have the hand rotate around this way a little bit more so it's kind of so it's more open like that all right that will kind of work So then, so let's see. So you kind of got it there. So you maybe kind of come up a little bit. Rah, 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 rah. So you come up. And then you could even maybe put some of the weight on here. And I really kind of show this going up. And then that's when you want to bring this up here, maybe. So you get this nice line. So it's gonna. So basically, it's gonna. It's gonna make this move very readable. Okay. And you've got some nice there, you've got some nice kind of secondary there where this is about to go through. I'd almost have more of that. And then, you know, like definitely have this hand kind of back there a little bit as well. So then it's cool. Make sure you've got that line looking at the target. All right. And then I would probably extend this elbow out a little bit more and then bring this, because this is a cool pose. I'll just bring it further back, further back there. And then again, have it rotate, because here it almost looks like a chop and it's not, it's an open, so it's like you want to bring it back there. So it ends up, so again, just kind of rotate this round. I think that will work there. Again, try and keep the, the line, the vision looking that way. So that's cool. So the, I, I do really like this. Remember I was saying, I think that you should look at like judo rolls as well. That's where so the, the judo roll actually lands on the shoulder. So that's kind of cool. And then what I might do. Yeah is this roll because i think it's really cool it's really to show the weight i'd maybe even extend this out like a frame or two and then remember so this part here where he lands i want to see you plant that foot first so let's kind of get that foot almost down and have it planted there all right you have that planted which means then you can push off so especially here this this foot should be planted should be planted there right so then you push off but i have this head start to come around it'll make that look a little bit more fluid because it looks like he's looking at nothing and then you can even maybe have the mandibles close a little bit here because then especially because the next move is remember he's going in i think you can have this boom and then maybe have that put the hands down on either side of it so instead of putting it so close you could maybe bring them down to somewhere like here and then the same with this one so it gives it a nice wide stance it'll make it look really strong and the cool thing is is then it, you'll be able to get the mouth in there as well and the mouth should always be because we know we're coming around this way you know we should be able to open it up and be kind of ready here i think that you come around and then then that means that your mouse is in my drawer it's terrible i'm a better animator than i am a drawer um there we go looks awesome um give some eyes uh so so then the cool thing is 
as you see here, and then we can grab it. And because these are going to be over here, we can then really spend a frame or two just kind of grabbing that. And then, see, this is going to make this a lot easier. And also, you're not going to go there. So I make sure that this moves forward a little bit. And then this is cool. I love the step back. And then you could really rock back. So if these hands are, are like further like that, you can throw it in the air like it's a chew toy, right? So throw it in the air. Again, shoulders, using the shoulders. And again, it's good that it's kind of watch what's happening for a little bit. So you can see it. And then maybe have some overlap on the head. Overlap there, so the head kind of is more like that. Then you can bring it down, give it a little, this is where the mandibles should be coming in. You could do something with this moment here. So you see it's quite static, there's not really much going on here, so it comes down. You see, I think that, that would be kind of cool. So, because there's not much going on here, and again, make sure you reach back with this foot. Reach back with that foot so the toes are down. Okay. You see there? So put the toes down first, and that will allow you to have like a smooth weight transfer on that. And then also, you see here it looks broken because you've got the ankle broken there and you've got the knee going into the ankle. If you had this foot further back, that would actually make this next move a lot easier. And it would give it a better pose. So what I would do is I'd really rock back, have the head go down at this moment, have the head go down because you're anticipating going up, so like, and then look at where you're going. So use these hands to push off. Okay, I think that actually makes more sense than the hands going back. And then you really want to make sure that you push off with your feet. So the toes are still there and then get this, and then the thing is, as you're going up, so make sure you get a really nice line of action up here. So then, that's why I'd get the head up here. Okay, so you've got all this. And then that's it, reach out, reach out. And again, you wanna extend, really extend, and then it's cool, I love what you've done with, with bringing the, the feet up there. And then it can kind of hide, and then that's it. Cool, rip it apart. And then this is your this is your pose. So you can go right. So yeah, like this is your kind of your hero pose almost. And again, with the landing, reach out. And that's cool that you've got this asymmetric landing. I like that you haven't done a three-point landing, that's cool, especially because it's a beast, it doesn't it, you know, it makes sense. So and then you can take some time with this with this settle, right? Because if this was going into a game, then we'd make this part interruptible. So you can really make the landing, like you take some time with the landing and then have the landing, try not to have the landing with the head down. So it looks just looks more aggressive that way as well. But if you've got the head down, it doesn't. And then you could really do something nice with the idol with the mandibles like, and then it just and even like maybe it's looking around like because it's just it's it's this like feral beast right so so i think that's kind of cool so take your time with it um it's a really really good piece um it's clearly good because it caught our eye so congratulations again um hope that helps and uh good luck so this has been really interesting for me to have a look at again. Um, I see things differently all the time. I still stand by my comments, but there's also other things I see now. Um, but that's the great thing about gameplay animation, right? Is you're always evolving. Um, if you like what you've seen here, please subscribe. If you want me to have a look at your reel, then send me a comment. Um, I love doing these, as I've said many times before. So um, I'd love to hear from you. And in the meantime, my name's Christian Jonjuk. This has been Gameplay Animation Show Review, and take care and good luck.